Hey guys, how you doing? PowerBlock is a DIY UPS with emergency lighting that can be utilized to power a variety of 5 volt operated devices like a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino project, or even charge gadgets like a tablet or smartphone. It can also be used outside for lighting. The objective was to construct a battery system that could be used outside during a brief camping trip to charge cell phones and other 5 volt gadgets as well as serve as an emergency light. The heart of this project is this buck converter circuit that I got from PCBWay's gift shop. I designed this project because I am going on a relatively short camping trip and my power bank is starting to have backup problems and it's becoming unreliable. Since camping also required a small lighting source, it includes a battery pack with a buck converter circuit that can supply 5V 6A current to each port and powerful LED lighting setup that is powered by Cree Explav T LEDs with an onboard LED driver IC. This is actually the second version of my previous power block project which was essentially a 5 volt power bank with a large 25 AH lithium ion cell battery. That device is still functional but one drawback is that it weights 1.45 kgs which makes it difficult to carry around. Version 2 weights only 800 grams. The version 2 contains 13.3V 6AH battery pack and yes the cell capacity is much lower than the earlier version but the newer model is still adequate to charge 2 or 3 devices and even serve as a lamp for short period of time. The best part is that it weights only 800 grams, making it easy to transport in a bag. A buck converter circuit combined with one of my earlier LED driver boards project and 3D printed components are used to construct this power bank slash emergency light entirely from scratch. This project 3D design is composed mostly of three sections. The bottom or base component which keeps the battery, the middle part which has the switch, circuit and DC jack and the diffuser layer which has two parts, LED holder and the diffuser itself. The entire design was created in Fusion 360 and 3D printed with an Ender 3 by using these settings. 20% infill with 0.4mm nozzle, 0.2mm layer height and material was PLA with different colors. All the files are attached in the projects page that you can download, link is in video description. A buck converter is a type of DC-DC power converter that is used to convert a higher voltage DC source to a lower voltage DC source. It works by using a switching element such as a transistor to control the flow of current through an inductor which smooths out the voltage and reduces it to a desired level. The key feature of a buck converter is its ability to maintain a constant output voltage despite variation in input voltage, load current or switching frequencies. As for sourcing this buck converter circuit, I got it from PCBWay's gift shop. PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where you can get variety of electronic module and boards for their genuine price or you could use the PCBWay's currency which is called beans. You get beans after ordering something from PCBWay as reward points or you can also get them by posting any project in the PCBWay's community. Check out PCB way for getting all sort of PCB related services or 3D printed services for less cost. One of the main component used in this project is the battery, which is made up of 4 lipopolymer cells combined in series to make a 13.3 volt battery pack with a BMS or battery management system. A BMS or battery management system is like the brain of battery pack and it performs several important functions such as balancing the cell voltage, monitoring the temperature and protecting the pack from overcharge, over discharge and overcurrent. The LED driver board also known as the high power LED board is one of my previous projects. It consists of 4 XPLOV T Cree high power LEDs that are driven by SIC 9301A LED driver IC. To dissipate heat generated during the LED glow, this board has a heat sink attached with thermal glue to the bottom side of PCB. The total power of this LED board is 5.4 watt and it required 13.3 volt to operate at 0.4 ampere of current. For the build process of this power block, you guys can check the projects page which is given in the video description.
The end result of this build is a portable battery bank setup, also known as power block, that can be used to power XYZ 5V devices and even serve as a light source during camping trips or blackouts. Because the battery has total power of 79.8 watt hour and the LED is consuming 5.4 watt hour, the LED light can be kept running for more than 12 hours, which is remarkable. We don't have to worry about the battery packs low cut and high cut because the BMS is there to ensure that everything is kept in its perfect condition and it has two switches. One is the main switch and the other is for turning the LED on and off. It also has BMS which manage the battery pack overall charging and discharging and keep it stable. I first connected a small handheld gaming console which is also a DIY project, check out its video to 5 volt of the USB port for testing the power block. The power block is now powering this game console. Next we attach a Xiao board running a basic RGB LED sketch to show that this setup can also be used as a power source for development boards while creating projects and performing tests. Then in order to charge the lithium cell in my recently built over engineered pen stand, I connected a USB cable to it. The LED is currently blinking indicating that the cell is charging. Finally, I connected an iPad to the power block to see if this was charging or not, and obviously it was. This proved that this project was successful and it can be used to operate, power or even charge different 5 volt operated items, which is an amazing achievement. Can't wait to actually test this setup in real life during the upcoming camping trip. This is it for today folks. I hope you like this project. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. Do check them out for getting great PCB service for less cost. Until then, stay tuned and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.